Hola clase, today we're going to talk about gustar with nouns, so make sure you have your gustar with nouns note guide available and that you're filling it in as we go through the video. Okay, remember to use gusta followed by an infinitive to say what people like or don't like to do. Okay, an infinitive is a verb that ends in AR, ER, or IR. So let's go ahead and pause the video and fill in the first two bullet points for part A of your note guide. Okay, let's look at these examples. Me gusta comer pizza, I like to eat pizza. Te gusta practicar deportes? Do you like to practice sports? A ella le gusta dibujar. She likes to draw. Nos gusta aprender español. We like to learn Spanish. And a ustedes no les gusta leer libros? If you notice, all of these sentences have in common that we use gusta followed by an infinitive or a verb to say what people like and don't like to do. Now we're going to talk about saying what things that people like. Okay, so to say that someone likes a thing, use gusta, just like you did with saying that people like to do things. But to say that someone likes more than one thing, you'll use gustan. So this is the plural form of gustar. All right, let's look at singular examples. No me gusta el café. I don't like coffee. Okay, well, coffee is singular and a thing, so we're going to use gusta. A ellos les gusta la sopa de tomate. Soup is a thing. It's a singular thing, so we'll use gusta. Let's look at the plural examples. No nos gustan los exámenes. We don't like tests. All right, tests is plural, so we must use the plural form of gustar, which is gustan. And finally, a ti te gustan las clases? Do you like the classes? Again, classes is plural, so we need gustan here. Okay, so it's a little different than when we say what we like to do. All right, so remember, singular nouns require gusta. Plural nouns, gustan. Finally, notice the articles, el, la, los, or las. They must be included before the noun. So notice here, you must say el café, not just café. Okay, same here. La sopa, los exámenes, las clases. Pause the video and go ahead and fill in the rest of the bullet points for part A. Okay, let's go through the chart and then we'll pause and fill it in. All right, a mí me gusta or a mí me gustan. Remember, we already know if we put a mí in front of me, it shows emphasis. I really like. And remember, now that we're talking about using gustar with nouns, we can either use gusta to say we like a singular thing and gustan to say we like more than one thing. Okay? So then we have a ti te gusta, a usted le gusta, a él le gusta, a ella le gusta, a nosotros nos gusta, a ustedes les gusta, a ellos les gusta, a ellas les gusta. Okay? So also remember, that in parentheses here, this part does not have to be there, okay? But you must include me, te, le, and so on. The gustar pronouns must be there when you say what people like or don't like, okay? At the bottom it says when you want to emphasize or specifically identify the person who likes the activity, use the information in red and parentheses from the chart before the gustar pronoun. So it's talking about here, a mi, that shows emphasis. And then for the ones that have multiple meanings, le can mean many things and lace can mean many things. If you use what's in parentheses, it specifically identifies who it is that likes. Okay, don't forget that you must include a before that pronoun in parentheses. Okay, so let's go ahead and pause the video and fill in part B, the chart, and the first bullet point. Okay, remember that if you want to say the person's name, you must include a first. Also notice which pronoun is used for each. Le is if it's one person, and lace if it's more than one. So let's look at the examples. A Elena le gusta la ensalada. Elena likes salad. Well, because we said Elena's name, we must put a in front of it. Also, we used gusta here because salad is singular. And then the le must be included. Okay, and it's because it's like saying she likes. Okay, and let's skip down to the last example. A Elena y a Marcos les gustan las papas fritas. Here we said two people, so we do have to include the a before their names. Lace because they like. Gustan is plural because french fries is plural. Okay, pause the video and fill in the last bullet point for part B. Okay, part C on the note guide wants us to write translations. Let's do the first one together. Numero uno, me gusta el postre. Well, we know, according to our chart, that the me gusta means I like, 
And this one particularly used gusta because el postre is singular. Me gusta, I like. And then one of our vocab words, el postre, is dessert. So the first one is I like dessert. Go ahead and fill in part two through five. Pause the video. Okay, let's go through the answers. Okay. A ti te gustan las papas fritas. Okay, the a ti is there, so we're showing emphasis. So you want to say, you really like French fries. Okay, tres. A Sara le gustan las donas. Okay, because we said her name, that's why the a is there. Sara likes donuts. Cuatro. A nosotros no nos gustan los frijoles verdes. We do not like green beans. Okay, but because we said a nosotros, it could really translate to we really don't like green beans. Okay, cinco. A ellos les gusta la limonada. They really like lemonade. Practiquemos. Let's fill in the blank with gusta or gustan as needed. Remember, we use gusta to say that someone likes a singular thing and gustan if it's plural. Okay, so let's look at the first one. A ustedes les, well look here, los sandwiches is plural, so we would choose gustan. A ustedes les gustan los sandwiches? And there should be a question mark here. Okay, so for the first one, let's put gustan. Pause the video and fill in the rest. All right, let's check our answers, okay? Numero dos, a mi me gusta la música. We use gusta because music is singular. A ti no te gusta el agua. Gusta is singular because water is singular. Cuatro, a ellos no les gusta el fútbol. They don't like soccer. Again, fútbol is singular, therefore gusta. A nosotros nos gustan las galletas. Gustan must be used because cookies is plural. And finally, a ella le gusta la clase. Class is singular, therefore gusta. Okay, write any questions you may have on your note guide and make sure you ask them as soon as class begins before the quiz. There will be a five point mini quiz the next day at the beginning of class. Please take the initiative to watch the video more than once in order to fully and completely understand the content covered in the video and or to help clear up any confusion. At this point, make sure you fill in part E of your note guide. Adios.